Right, are you ready for more of this? It's quite nice, this stuff. Right, so I'm using cos A plus cos B. So I'm using a formula, so that's cos A cos, uh, cos, a, cos, a cos B minus sine A sine. So I've got cos theta, cos 30, minus sine theta, sine 30 is equal to sine theta. Right, so we know cos 30 is root 3 over 2. So all I'm doing is working out what I can do. Sine 30 is a half. Now I want to solve it. I want to try and make it as easy as I can do to solve it. So if I take the half I take the half over there. It's going to go the next bit. Oops, come back. Then I've got root 3 over 2 cos theta is equal to 1 and a half lots of sine theta. Now I've got to do some rearranging stuff here. But if you look, it's sine over cos, it's going to be tan for my rearrange. So the twos are going to go and have a root 3 over 3 or 1 over root 3. If I work it out, now it's in degrees, so be careful because we were in radians before. So we're in degrees here now. So that will give me 30 degrees out for theta. I'm doing between 0 and 360. So I should have two solutions if I graph it. The 30 and if I add on. 180 degrees there. That's not too bad actually. The rearrange is a bit spotty, but you want to do tan. Sine over cos, I think it's possibly a little bit of a challenge if, because we've not done much trig recently. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. So, same idea, so I've got 2 tan theta is 3 lots of. So I've got tan 45 minus, so that's going to be tan 45 minus tan theta over 1 plus tan 45 times tan theta. Now what's quite nice is tan 45 is 1, so I've got 2 tan theta is 3 lots of 1 minus tan theta over 1 plus tan theta. There. Now, if I multiply through by the 1 plus tan theta, so if I multiply through by that, I'll take that up there, I have 2 tan, oh, ah, press the wrong button. Hang on. I've got 2 tan theta multiplied by 1 plus tan theta, which is 3 minus 3 tan theta. So I've got 2 tan theta plus 2 tan squared theta is 3 minus 3 tan theta. So if I have it as a quadratic, I've got 2 tan squared theta plus 5 tan theta minus 3, 0. Stick the poly, 2, 5 minus 3, it gives me tan theta is a half, tan theta is minus 3. So that gives me theta out of 26.6 degrees. That gives me theta out of minus 71.6. Look where I'm after. I've got to make this button again. I want 0 to 360. Change the colour back. So this one's fine. It will just be 26.6, then adding on 180 to it. So what's that going to be? 106. Uh, 206.6. It's going to be 206.6. The minus 71.6 I don't want. That's outside the range, but I've shown it, if you remember, because that's important to do. So if I add on 180, the actual answer I want, so that's going to be 108.4. And then if I add on 180 again, it's going to be 288.4. And then with the actual solutions I want. 
So just as a reminder, if we ignore that one, or we'll just add it on 180s for it. Now there is a proof here for it, <laughs> for how the formula work. I might leave that for now and do it at some point, because it's quite full on. Right, there's also a proof for cos A plus B, using a similar vein. But I think we'll stop there. We won't bother with that proof. If you want to do it, you can do it, and I can quote it back. There's a consolidation exercise there. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.